right now at 5.30. After taking a beating from back-to-back -back storms, wall. Quincy is ready to replace thousands of feet of crumbling seawall. The barriers are the only protection for waterfront homes, and officials say that after decades, that seawall is in desperate need of repair. But now comes the task of getting the money for what would be a multi-million dollar project. WBZ's Bill Shields has the story tonight from Quincy. Oh, yeah, we got slammed. Dan Shea will never forget last winter. His home survived, but was heavily damaged when the old seawall out front couldn't hold back the ocean. These walls are, you know, original. They go back to the 50s, early 60s, I think. And um, they, got, they got banged up pretty good in the no-name storm in 91. Last March was hard on anyone living along the coast of Massachusetts. Three nor'easters in a row wreaked havoc. Ellen Pells of Quincy had to evacuate her house neck home to escape the floodwaters. Oh, absolutely. We had to leave our house. We were gone for about two weeks. Um, with, with your young son? Yeah, with my baby um, and our dog. Now the mayor says they'll spend millions on the aging seawalls along house neck. So it really changed our mindset about how high to go. So instead of initially looking at uh, perhaps a foot to a foot and a half, we're looking at least a solid two feet. They're going to rebuild 8,000 feet of seawall along Howe's Neck. That'll protect hundreds of homes. Peter Sang is hoping a two-foot higher seawall will keep the water out of his basement. They're get saying two feet more? Yes, get to less water coming over, over the seawall. I think uh, building up the seawall a little bit mm -hmm. will help a lot, definitely. This is Sea Street. It's the only evacuation route for Germantown and Howe's Neck. The seawall, just a block that way. So when this area floods, it's a problem for the city. In Quincy, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.